ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Pastiche of Skin. Today we are doing a free play Friday as we try a free to play game available on the PlayStation Network. Today is Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Space vehicular combat in large, large, large capital ships. Now, uh, Dreadnought catch, caught my attention because um, I'm a big fan of Rebel Galaxy. I look forward to playing Elite Dangerous. I was hopeful about No Man's Sky, but obviously we were all duped in that particular case and it's been uh, contentious for the last couple of months. Meanwhile, Dreadnought, I saw a announcement to let people sign up for a beta a long time ago and the key code finally came through a while back and I haven't got to play it. So I'm hoping that the public beta is still available and up and running. I can get it logged in here and try it out. But um, yeah, I, I have no idea what kind of content I'm actually looking forward to. I don't know if this is a resource management, explore galaxy kind of thing, or it's one of those um, games that's trying to be, say, EVE Online's kind of like trade routes and financial things where I'm going to need 14 spreadsheets open just to make a single deal. Now, that could be a possibility. I don't know. But we will find out very, very shortly. I'm actually, my head is lolling back and forth. You can see that I'm actually rolling around inside my glasses. Um, it's just the tiredness that's kicking in with dealing with uh, free-to-play games. I played a game called APB Reloaded. You'll probably see a video of that before you see the video of this. And holy shit was it mind-numbing. It just was a per game. Oh, we're in. It's never the same. We had to found our own haven in the asteroid belt. Star trekking across the universe on the Starship Enterprise under Captain Kirk. Hmm, nice. Now it's where they hire us to fight in their war that never really ended. <sighs> when they've nowhere left to go. Roger, data received. Mission to docking front. Acknowledged. Preparing docking sequence of port six. I am here to welcome you. Welcome me to the galaxy. Fine captain who will fight to keep Sydney Bay free. Let's see if you're worth my time. Woohoo! Let's rock and roll. Dreadnought. Dreading for naught. Welcome to oh, okay, cool. So we got basics kind of actually figured out here. So of course we're going to go female. Uh, we will go with one of these heads, I imagine. Um, I like that one. And we don't really have much choice in clothing. Much choice in anything really. Oh, there we go. Is what? Eyes? Oh yes, I have to choose a color. Can't even tell what they are. What's this one? Oh, color ten. Um, I think I will go with space blue. I'm blue, madam, be madam, by, mother, be madam, by, nobody, madam, by, by. Right. So you want to start a new life as uh, part of Big Sponge, uh, wouldn't you? Uh, Gutsiest captains in the solar system, with the finest ships and the smartest tech. That's why the dirty work. that's why the big shots of the Commonwealth get us to do their dirty work. And you think you got the right stuff? Let's see it. I'm gonna take you take my own pride and joy. The good ship Morningstar for a shakedown. It's a good opportunity for you to get a refresher course on how to command a battleship. I'd take it if I were you. Well, yeah, I will. Start tutorial? Why not? Let's check it out. Smart choice. We gotta check it out. They're giving us free trains on a giant battleship. We shall rename you Potemkin. What's Potemkin battleship? I don't even know. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was it a destroyer or a battleship. I, my, dude, history is my weakest subject. It's one of those, it's weird things because history is so important because those who don't remember it are doomed to repeat it. But I'm kind of hoping that somebody had read it and reminds me whenever it comes to the time. Yeah, loading times are a 
bit awful. But I um, suppose this is actually kind of partially pulling down the map and details and markers for a much larger arena than we're normally used to playing. Even if this is a tutorial. Yes, um, for some reason I was starting to go like a bizarre a cappella version of the Star Wars theme. That's an order. Oh, oh shit, this looks pretty. That literally made me sit up out of my chair. Fucking hell! Yeah, we're out of the hangar. Take us to these coordinates, Captain. Engage the thrusters. Sydney Bay is the only place you'll get to command a real battleship, you know. From the good old days, the Great Solar War. You see all the traffic. Those are refugees and rebels coming here in search of liberty or answering the call. So slow! Sydney Bay tax free. It is literally a boat. <laughs> I am turning the Titanic here. That means go up and down. Okay, so. R1 to ascend. Ah, that got ourselves in the pocket. Seems in order. Now, divert energy to the thrusters and take us to the next stop. Yeah, how would I do that? Oh! Ah, I get ya. Okay. Engines are offline, so the crew can run diagnostics. Right. Make sure the energy systems are turned off, Captain. The energy system is offline now. Okay. We need to check our weapons systems now. Yeah, how do I do that? The target should arrive any moment. Okay. Don't worry, it's already marked for scuttling. Boom! Boom! <clears throat> Defensive turrets. Okay, now divert energy to the weapons and fire on the next target. Boom! Oh, so effective! Damn! That's cool, I like that. I like that a lot. Like the little kind of noise channeling is actually because of them like venting atmosphere or oxygen while they're actually flying out. Um. So assume the flight spot is to get rid of missiles. Yeah. Energy to the shields. Shields? Nice. 
We just take more of a damage. You can really take a pounding. Well done. Oh. Very cool. We're good to go. Let's head back to the docking bay. Back into the docking bay? Alright. Roger that, Sydney SDC. Alright. You heard the news. Playtime is over. We're warping into battle. Oh, what? Okay. Um, let's not point that at any of the buildings. There we go. <laughs> that was mildly dangerous. Alright, playtime is over. Time to see what you're made of, Captain. That was glorious. Allied Pat Cruiser here, patching you up. We've got your back now. Enemy threat not detected. That flying fortress easily matches our firepower. Don't let them get close to our allies. A threat not doesn't give second chances. That was interesting. I actually I could get on board with that. Um Are we porting out again? Eep, 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 eep. So yeah, um it's space combat. It's a bit slow. It reminds me of uh some of the uh space combat from Star Trek Online. While also partially of Rebel Galaxy. Rebel Galaxy themes is a bit more faster paced than that because you can actually like almost warp out of a situation if you need to. But that wasn't too bad at all. I like, like uh, I enjoyed that. Um, I imagine with uh, customizing your own ship, putting your own materials together. Um, I know for a fact that there was actually a E3 ticket that actually gave you a bonus for Dreadnought. I think recently, it was um, it was the E3 uh, digital ticket or digital bundle that they were doing. <laughs> um, yeah, that was actually pretty interesting. Um, I mean, I could play, I could jump into a bunch of battles, I could look at tech trees. So obviously there's a different kinds of, uh, ship all over the place. And all have different kind of, uh, specializations, of course. Um, then you've got tech trees, which are, of course, going to be different, well, different sectors of companies, but then also different kind of pieces of hardware that you can get. Market for more, buying more stuff. Of course, they want to make their money in this game. But, yeah, that's actually, well, XP conversion, well, Okay, that's grand. Um, that that's actually that's a fairly reasonable space combat sim game. Um, not something that I would actually I, I wouldn't jump to Dreadnought immediately. Uh, but I would play it with friends, especially if we get that whole kind of like a a phallus of 
ships together. Um, you know for a fact what I would end up doing is if I can, instead of playing as a battleship, I would play as a support ship, which is repairing everybody else. Who literally just sits in a cluster surrounded by ships, just dumping heals. Like, generally, got just a mad professor of healing, like the, the doctor from uh, Team Fortress. My job is that like, heroes will never die, neither will your ship's engines. So, um, yeah, uh, that was actually wasn't too bad. De Dreadnought uh, has a um, has an appeal of its own, but um, the process of getting logged in and setting that up was actually a pain for me. Uh, what you didn't see was I actually started recording a video before this one, which then had to stop because I had to actually do a registration of my password and username with my PSN account. And it was, and it was, a, it was a smile pain, but I mean, it's essentially the same thing that happens with any of these games that are coming from a PC environment that are actually used to having their own login details and menus to go along with. So, uh, yeah, this was Dreadnought on the PlayStation 4. Not too bad of a game, completely free to play, currently in beta, but will be coming to you guys soon and get into your grubby little hands. So I might recommend checking it out when it gets to the point. Now, if you enjoyed me playing through this, maybe being a little bit too tired, my head's starting to lull a wee bit because we've been on a few sessions back to back here tonight. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed that, I apologize if I was a little bit non commental no, not commenting as much as I normally would, but it was just the fact that it was a, that kind of gameplay does lend itself to a calming, kind of like focused, centralized, like you don't think about anything else while you're doing it, kind of um, keep your rotation solid kind of gameplay. To talk over the top of that would have actually distracted me in the middle of the play. So uh, yeah, Dreadnought, recommend it, check it out, have a wee look, take a wee look deeper to see if you actually, it is into your kind of realm of enjoyment. And if it is, then thumbs up. If it isn't, then thumbs down. Either way, tell me if you would like to see more here on the channel. I might do a team up with Will Convey before the beta is actually finished if you guys are up for it and you want to see it. So yeah, uh, if you want to see that or any other content here on the channel and to get notifications of it, make sure to hit the subscribe button right up there or the follow button down there or the like button over there or anything otherwise, upvotes, downvotes, whatever way you've seen it. Make sure to like and share this video so other people can see it as well. And you will also get a notification of whenever I make content. Now, if you don't want to, if you're into the brevity and you don't want to do the whole notification, which can be a bit of a pain, fill up your mailbox, then all you have to do is memorize pastiche of skin and just search for me, man. Just throw it into Google, into DuckDuckGo, into goddamn Ask Jeeves, and you will find me because I am not trying to hide. Now, I thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're actually watching this on any multiple platforms, possibly YouTube, you're going to get the boom boxes right there. See up here, this will actually be a box for Free Play Friday, uh, possibly a normal one for Cold Open or the most recent video I've ever done, or the one over here, which is based on your user statistics and is made for you. So you should click on that link, this one right over here. That'll be guaranteed to be something that you're interested in because it'll be recommended because of the things you've already watched. So I hope you check that out, and I will see all you dudes in the next Starship. Bye.